Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be solving this given cube root radicals. And in this case as you can see we have a cube root that means our index is 3. In case if you are not sure what is index or radicant I just put down the body parts of a radical inside the radical symbol is radicant and this is our index now let's go ahead and get started with solving this equation we have a cube root how we can get rid of this cube or how we can undo this cube root is taking the power 3 okay so we take the power 3 on both sides so what happens is simply this cube and cube root they are gone we simply ended up 7x equal to once again cube root and cube are gone 4x plus 2 so far so good and before we get started I want you to look at this two very important kind of facts that the cube root of an a is same as a power 1 over 3 so this is index and here we have an exponent just keep in your mind and again if you take a power 3 on both sides we will end up as getting an a and if you are not sure I have just put down the proof as well for your info so let's focus on this equation right now we want to solve for x how about if I move this 4x on the other side I'm going to move 4x on the side so when you move 4x on the other side 7x is already there if you drag 7x on the other 4x on the other side becomes negative 4x equals to 2 that's the really easy way so 7x take away 4x is 3x equal to 2 and I want you to divide it both side by 3 so x turns out to be equal to 2 over 3 so thus uh, x equal to 2 third is our solution now finally we're going to solve this equation as well so in order to get rid of this cube root we're going to take the power 3 on both sides so far so good once again this cube and cube root they are gone we simply ended up with x square equal to once again this cube and cube root are gone we got 27 minus 26 x now I want you to move everything on the left hand side 27 is gonna go on the left hand side and negative 26 x as well so once x squared is already there 27 become negative 27 and negative 26 become positive 26 x equal to 0 as you can see this is a quadratic equation which can be easily factored out so let's see what are the possible factors so one of the factors x minus 1 the other one is x plus 27 so now let's go ahead and split it up x minus 1 equal to 0 the other one is x plus 27 equal to 0 that means x equal to 1 is one of the solution and x equal to negative 27 is another solution thus our solution set is simply negative 27 and 1 thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos